Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging to do. Yay! And this one has come to me from the lovely people at everydayedeals.com. Uh, they contacted me again and asked if I would like to show some products on my channel. So yeah, I said yes, of course. I've enjoyed using the products that I've had from them in the past. So what did we get this time? You can see one that's peeking out there that's a little bit larger one there and then a little bit smaller one and then oops we've got a flat one there with a lot of drills and um, oh, another tiny one that came uh, in its own little packet and then a couple of fun things just uh, to have a look at I do like to get the little bits and pieces as well. So, shall we have a look at those first? Okay, so this I thought was really good fun. There's a lot of different ones of these. It is a drill pen, but it's a bone. Or it's shaped like a bone, look. How much fun is that? <laughs> and I think if you're just doing your orders and there's special offers and things on to make up money to get you special deals and things, just add in a little pen or a little bit of fun into it just makes all that difference it just makes up your order but yeah isn't that just great and i thought oh while well, i'm doing drills and chills and all my spooky halloween canvases i can be sat there using a bone might frighten her um might scare hubby Ooh. just hope that uh, millie our scotty dog don't think oh this mummy's got a bone i'll have that <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm going to have to keep it out of her way. So it's just a single placer. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's fab. It's great. I just love it. It's a real nice lightweight as well. And actually, it's quite nice to hold. There's quite, you know, a bit to get hold of there. Uh, you could probably put a squishy yeah, on it, a little pen grip on it if you wanted to. But I think that's quite nice to hold. And uh, yeah, for doing your diamond painting. So that was just a little extra. That was £3.44. pence, And uh, yeah, just for a little bit of fun. It looked quite good there, actually. Start if you've got like um, a pen stand or something just stuck on there, people think they've got a bone on there. <laughs> okay, and then the other one, which I just thought was really cute, and I thought, oh, I'm going to have to give that a try. It's a very, very little pen. And it's a little squishy it's got a little squishy and i believe it's well i don't know whether it's a cat or not because it's not got any ears but it's just a little cute character all in blue and he's all 3d look and then he's just got a little single placer and again quite nice to hold quite uh, actually yeah quite like that so yeah just that'd be really good for like doing um, special drill you know where you're doing your crystal key rings and things like that where you need to be directly above that's quite handy but yeah it's just a little squishy to play with as well I just thought, oh i may keep it it may go uh, granddaughter's way we'll have to see but yeah you have a little smiley character smiling at you while you're diamond painting you'd have to do him that way so that he can still breathe <laughs> let's give them a quick measure just give you uh, an idea of the size of them so our little character so i'm not quite sure what what he is because he hasn't got any ears he's maybe one of those little um japanese anime characters um but there's quite a few bits and pieces about so the actual character is uh, roughly two inches five centimeters to the end of the drill pen it is let me have a look about seven centimeters two and three quarter inches and then widthwise at his widest point is about two inches five centimeters so it's just a nice little square one to be honest it'd be very nice if you've got children um or younger children are wanting to have a go you know if you just give them a bit of sticky paper and some drills for them just to have a play with it's quite nice for small hands just to get hold of you know there's quite a bit of grip for them to pick up or if you've got dexterity problems but yeah i just thought there was a few different characters as well but that one just made me smile because it's got such a big smile love it and our bone okay it is to the tip of the pen is 14 centimeters which is about five and a half inches and the actual bone shape itself 
is 13 and a half centimetres which is about five and a quarter ish inches so yeah nice sizes but that just really made me laugh and as I say there is quite a few different ones I've no idea what bone that would actually be um, but yeah I just thought for doing my drills and chills and my spooky canvases that's a really really good pen to have <laughs> quite nice little presents as well you know if you're wanting to get something for a diamond painter and you think oh they've got everything what can I get something like that a quirky pen will just hopefully make them smile um, and our little character is £1.71 yay right uh, at the moment on the Everyday e Deals website you do get um, a free gift on orders over $50 so it's worth checking out and I think there was an offer on postage as well. I'm not sure. You would have to go onto the uh, website and check that out. But everydaydeals.com it is. And they've also um, sent me a 10% discount code. So if you would like to get 10% off anything that you buy, the discount code that they've given me is DIAMOND10. And I'll put it across the screen and I'll put it in the links down below uh, so yeah you can get 10% off as well uh, it isn't an affiliate code I don't get anything for your shopping with them I do get 10% off and who doesn't like to save money I know I do yay so thank you everydayedeals.com 10% is uh, very gratefully accepted so look at this one this is a yes the glasses case this one is turtles. I get rid of any rubbish. Accumulating rubbish in the corners. So yeah, and it's one of these. Look, it's a wah 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 wah. <laughs> and I just thought that was a really lovely picture. Um, and I love these glasses cases because they're just so much um, more useful than the great big sort of like solid cases that you actually get your glasses in these days. You know, you can. Uh, just slip that into a bag a lot easier and I always find as well while I'm diamond painting I put my glasses down and these glasses are so expensive these days you want to look after them so I just think to have um, a case that I can actually put my, my glasses in my diamonds in wish I did <laughs> to put my glasses in it'll just stop them getting scratched because uh, yeah so you've got your little cover over the top it is only diamond painted on the two turtles there, but that's a lovely scene. And I think that'll make me um, probably use it as well, because if it's sat on my desk so that when I start diamond painting, because I use my magnifying uh, light glass that I've got, so I take my glasses off because it's too much for me. Uh, so, yeah, I'll just take my glasses off and uh, I'll just take these bits out. <laughs> it's the diamond. And then I can just pop my glasses in there. And uh, yeah, then hopefully I'll remember to put them back on because it's a nice bright case. It's going to be sat there looking at me. And I think these will make great presents for people as well. Um, I'm quite possibly gifting quite a few of these for the upcoming Christmas holidays. So yeah, if family and friends are watching this, you may be getting a glasses case for Christmas. <laughs> okay. So let's have a quick measure. As you can see, it fits well. I've got, a, I think I've got like a standard size head. I don't know. Um, it's about 19 centimeters, which is about seven and a quarter inches by what's that about three and three quarter inches, which is about nine and a half centimeters. So, yeah, I think it'll fit most standard glasses. Um, I think it should fit uh, sunglasses as well. You know, it is quite a, a big opening there to get your sunglasses in. But oh, I just love these. I can sit and play with these all day. Wah, 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 wah. Stop it, Liz. Stop it. <laughs> so have a quick look at the drills. Not many colours. Oh, look. It's a trick one. It's a trick one. There it is. Ha -ha. Okay, so what have we got? Oh, there's quite a few colours actually. There's more than I thought. So we've got seven different colours. They're all your nice sparkly gems. So we've got a lovely aqua type blue, a nice yellowy gold, a sea blue, a darkish sort of browny colour there, bronzy colour. 
Oh, a very deep green. I like that colour. Look at that. It's like a jadey green. And then a very fresh, lightish green. And a little bit of, you like, honey amber at the end there. So quite a few different colours on this one. Nice and quick and easy to do. But you're still hand making something for somebody. So I think they're lovely little things to do with these. I do like the little quirky projects. And I love all the new things that are coming out in diamond painting. I go searching through. I think whenever I get onto a diamond painting page, the first thing I do is go and check out all the new stuff to see what's coming new. Uh, your toolkit is just your basic with your pen, your boat, your wax and your black tweezers. Okay, which is uh, I am using now for my uh, gluing projects. So we'll pop that back in there. Okay, pop him over there. Keep Turtle Company over there in that corner, please. Little blue squishy. Okay. And the next item is, it's coming up to that time of year. Oh, Santa hasn't got a face. Oh, that's strange. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at this a bit closer. <laughs> See what we've got. Okay, so basic toolkit, pen, boat and wax. And we've got your drills there. I'm sure the picture did actually have um, a face on it. But yeah, that's... <laughs> but it's a lovely big sticker and Rudolph looks absolutely wonderful at this size. And I love the colours. I love that we've got like the candy stripes. So it's like your candy canes on all your letters. Uh, and Santa's like, yeah. And then you've got your snow across the top of all your letters as well. I shall get in touch with them and I'll let you know what they say. So, the size of this is 30 centimetres, which is 12 inches, which is a really good size. By, I'll only do it to this line here because that really is like the sticker size. Uh, it's about five, just over five and a half inches which is about 14, just under 14 and a half centimetres. So yeah, that's a lovely size. I just thought that was a really good, it'll really stand out once it's got all the drills on. Um, it is just your normal acrylic drills. I may actually change this up, you know, and do it in um, sparkly gem. Yeah, I think it'll stand out more with um, crystal gems. Okay, so let's have a look at these. Oh, it's got some lovely colours in there. Oh, look at these. Okay. So, I mean, obviously, there's no key code or anything, so we've no DMC codes. But we've got, uh, uh, like, a lemony, pale lemony colour and, like, a peach pink and a nice blue there. That's going to be highlights for the snow. And a lovely bright orange. I think that's going to be Rudolph. And then your green and your red, which are your classic Christmas colours, are all your stripy letters. So that's really good. And then we've just got a nice sunny yellow and that looks like a, a bright white B5200. So that'd be quite nice in um, AB gems as well. Uh, hmm, okay, that's a, a lovely picture. I must say I can just draw a little face on or I've probably got a little face I can stick on there from somewhere. But uh, yeah, that's really, really sweet. Very nice. Uh, oh, the cost of this one was £3.44 uh, and the glasses case was £3.44 as well. So really good value, really uh, good prices just for like little stocking fillers for people, for glasses cases and the pens and everything. Okay, let me just pop that back and there. Pop the bills in as well. Okay, so we'll do the smaller canvas first and then we'll do the larger one last. Ooh. So this one is again a Christmas ink because I am starting to think about it. Uh, when you're crafting, I think you do start thinking about Christmas that a little bit earlier. I know a lot of people say, oh no, not at this time of year. But uh, yeah, we're mid-September now, it still comes round. Okay, and this one is a very, very pretty wreath. As you know, I do like my wreaths. I did know that this one is a partial uh, and it's not a wreath, you know, like an acrylic wreath or anything. I knew that this was a canvas, 
but I just thought it was just such a pretty picture. You've got your little horse uh, drawn carriage scene there and your little um, houses with all the lights glowing and the snow. That's just so oldy worldy Christmassy. And I just like the fact that it's all special drill, this one. Okay, you know I do like my special drills. Okay, if this one a flatter. Uh, it says 35 by 35. So that probably means that the picture is actually 30 by 30, which is good as well, because it makes it that little bit bigger. And if you've got one of those frames where you stretch your canvas over your frame, then it will fit one of those 30 by 30 frames, which is what I was also thinking of, because I have got a few of those that I've not used yet. So I do want to start getting some canvases to actually stretch onto a frame. Uh, we've got your basic toolkit again, pen, butt and wax. Let's just give it a quick measure. Uh, we've got 10 different gems and colours, so a nice little quickish project to do. Yeah, and we are 30 centimetres, which is roughly 11 and 3 quarter inches by 30 centimetres, which is 11 and 3 quarter inches. So excellent. Okay. And the price of this one is at the moment £5.17 on the website. So good value for money. Don't forget you can use your 10% off as well. Diamond 10. Okay. Right, let's see if I can get into this one. Oh, look, come on, open. Look, just because I found you first off. Don't be awkward. <laughs> oh, looks like we've got lots of nice sparkle in this one. Wow. Okay, oh, and some bigger gems as well. All right, so we've got a lovely silver crystal there, which are looking pretty blue. We have a palish pink there, a nice Christmassy green, oh, that darkish, like, emeraldy green there. And it looks it's like a smoky brownie colour, that one. Very pretty. Actually, it might be green. It might be one of those, like, off-green colours. Really nice, like that. Oh, and hot pink. We're calling hot pink. We couldn't go through an unboxing with Liz without having a hot pink. And we've got a lovely goldy colour there, yellowy gold. And then we've got our large red um, like half spheres. There's no facets on those. So I suspect there will be all the holly berries around the wreath, which will be very, very pretty. And then, oh, look at those. They're little teardrops with no facets on and the purple with an AB coating on. And your AB is, it's like an iridescent coating, Aurora Borealis it stands for, which is Northern Lights kind of oil and water effect. And it just gives you different colours, different shimmers as you walk past your painting. So they're going to be pretty. So where do they go then? They're B. So, okay, everybody look for bees. Where's the bees? Oh, look. So we've got all C's around this side and then we've got all B's around here. Not B's as in buzz, B's as in letter B's. <laughs> so they're all like the little flowery type, I don't know, berries, possibly berries because it's like holly, isn't it? That we've got holly and ferns. So they're maybe going to look like berries once they're all done. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Oh, and I've just noticed as well that although this is a partial, so most of your little picture in the middle and your outside isn't diamond painted, the trees in the scene have actually got uh, your little gems on them. So although normally this would just be plain and not have any drills or diamonds on it, this is actually going to be really sparkly there as well. Oh, that's lovely. That's really pretty. And we've still got a couple of gems on the wheels of the carriage as well. Wow. Oh, that's really well thought out. I love the charting on this. That's really good. And then we just have some little AB coated white teardrops, which I suspect, yep, yeah, they're going to be C. So they're going to be the other um, like little round berries or whatever they are. I don't think they'll be flowers. I think they're going to be more berries. So, yeah, we're going to have dotted around purple and white. Oh, that'll look really, really good with the other colours. Oh, lovely. Love this one. 
definitely going to be done for Christmas and will be up in the house. I do like Christmas. Right, let me just put these back away. Oh, it's a real long packet. Look, and I've folded them up small. Never mind. Pop them in there for now. I'll pop that one out of the way. And then, biggest last. This one is... It's a 40 by 50 and it's darker colours and it is a full drill. So it has got 24 colours, so not too many colours for a 40 by 50. Uh, the price of this one was on the website at the moment £8.62 and it is a haunted house. Wah, wah, wah. Look at that. Maybe just I shouldn't have left all these bits on my desk, look, but I like to look at them while I'm still doing things. <laughs> uh, your same toolkit again, your wax, your boat and your pen. Let's just move those out the way. Okay, let's see if we can just flatten this down a little bit. Stick the canvas again, this one. But that's fine. So I actually prefer working with these stiffer canvases. So I work on my knee on a board um, and I do find that it's easier if the canvas is a little bit stiffer because then it doesn't slip off and disappear over the edge of my desk. <laughs> well, I have like a, how can I say, a not really a desk, it's like a stand with a board on and I just work on that. Anyway, I'll maybe do a video on that at some point. <laughs> So that's flattened that out. Oh, this is lovely. There's a lot of detail on this. Is it round? Yep, we're a round one. So, great for drills and chills for anybody that is doing drills and chills. Do you know, I have trouble saying that. I don't know if anybody else does uh, this year. And there is DP Spooky Flings as well that Cindy is doing from Diamond Painting Fanatics. So, I will put the links for their channels down below, Diamonds and Washi and Diamond Painting Fanatics. Okay, I think that's flattened out pretty well. But look at that, how spooky is that? We've got a big, oh, it looks haunted, doesn't it, the house? We've got a witch coming out, look, with her lantern and a broom. Yeah, you've got to have, every witch has to have a broom. We've got a little, a lot of, uh, gravestones down here and some here we've got old candles glowing in the trees we've got a little ghost here mm. not quite i think that's maybe a cauldron with like a ghostly figure coming out there this could be another witch here as well and we've got little lanterns and we've got pumpkins all over Ooh, and then it looks like we've got ghosts coming out the chimney up here and lightning striking Wow, there is a lot of detail in this picture and it is a lot of confetti so it's not really one for somebody that likes just multi-placing. <laughs> There's a lot of colour changes on this one. I don't mind either way, I can do both. Uh, you know, I'm quite happy to just go through my colours and colour change or I'm quite happy to just sit there with all one colour and do all one colour. But yeah, that is fab, I love that. That witch is going to come out really well as well. So let's have a look at these colours. So it is only 24 colours. Ooh. Right. Oh, look at that. Imagine you're going to be sat watching horror films or, or Halloween films on the TV and you can be diamond painting with your bone pen doing your scary painting. Ooh. <laughs> okay, right, so we have, oh look, a lovely, uh, that's like a grape colour, black grape colour there, very deep purple and then like a palish greeny blue, there's two bags of that one, yeah, two bags of that. We have got DMC codes as well, so if you like keeping your drills, there's uh, all your codes to keep them. Uh, we've got a pink and then we've got like a denim blue. Yeah, they're both the same colour. And then like a mid-grey. 
and then number six yep that's one of the sort of a gray color another two bags of those so although there's only 24 colors there's quite a few double bags of ones so there's quite a lot of drills i've got a pale gray and then we've just got that little pop of like orangey color there which will probably be in the windows and then like a brownie color and a wine color red wine and a nice deep blue like a very deep indigo denim they would call it and a chocolatey brown and a russet color oh and look at that that's a real burnt orange color and then a lovely i don't know is that a dark brown or is that a dark blue that's number 15 let me have a look number 15 is 934 so i think oh actually i think it's a dark green it is it's a dark green and we have another pumpkin -y orange colour and a sakey green. Ooh, lots of colours in this one. Okay, well that's a big packet there. Okay, then we have like a, a mockery brown colour and a caramel chocolate colour. And that one is number 22. What colour is that one? That's 3799. That's like a darkish well not a dark more sort of a grey blue i think uh, but yeah that's a big bag of that one a very pale blue i think they'll be highlighting around the windows here and then your nice brownie color there and like a tinned pea green and then just a little bit of a pale lemony yellow so wow this one's gonna be when it's done will it get done for halloween is the question i've got about six weeks so possibly possibly never say never okay so we've had some lovely products thank you ever so much everyday ideals i've thoroughly enjoyed looking at these and let's just have a quick recap so we've got our spooky house with our witch coming out and ghosts and goblins we've got our lovely bone shaped pen it is plastic by the way it isn't bone it is a plastic and acrylic okay and then we've got our little squidgy friend as well so if you're feeling a bit ooh, scared by that you can have your little squidgy friend to help you out he'll keep uh, all the nasties away uh, we've got our gorgeous wreath with our beautiful classic christmasy snow scene in the middle We've got our lovely little turtles swimming along with the glasses case. Can't stop doing that. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> and then our Merry Christmas sticker. But I will find out what's happened with that um, and see what they say. And I will let you know. Okay. Well, as I say, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me as much as I've enjoyed showing them. I think they're absolutely super. Uh, don't forget if you use diamond 10 you do get a 10 percent discount as well so yeah always worth having a discount and if you've got any comments or questions if you leave them in the comments down below for me i'll get back to you as soon as i can if you have enjoyed looking at this with me as always a thumbs up is very very much appreciated and if you don't want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you want to join our little family by pressing that subscribe button, all it means is you'll just get a notification of when each of my videos come up. So thanks ever so much for stopping by. Huge thank you to Everyday E-Deals for these wonderful products. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.